Okay, let's talk some numbers. So we are going to talk about setting thresholds that will send your students down a certain path with your mastery path. Um, so I have as an example here, um, I'm going to give a pre-assessment on homophones, and then I'm going to send uh, students down a, a pathway based on their performance on that assessment. So this is a lot like setting a threshold for um, what is your meets expectations threshold and what is your master's, the content threshold. It's kind of the same idea. Um, I want students who get below a certain score to have to um, go through this pathway down here where they're going to get a whole reteach and some extra practice. Um, and maybe I want that to happen if they failed this, right? So I keep in mind while I'm setting my point uh, thresholds here that there's 10 questions on this assessment and they're each worth 10 points. So I know the kind of grades that are going to come out of that. I know we're going to have like 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, right? So a failing grade is going to be um, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, right? So anything below a 70. Um, so I'm just going to make sure that I set this uh, maybe anywhere between um, 60 and 70. So 65, for example, I could have set it at 61. That would still send the 60 grades down here in the bottom, right? Um, now, maybe I want my kids who got a 70, 80, or 90 to go down this middle pathway. All right. So I need this uh, threshold to be somewhere above a 90, but below a 100. So I'm going to pick 95. Again, oops, totally arbitrary, just a number between 90 and 100. And that way I ensure that any kid that gets 100 is going to go through the top path. Anybody who has a 70, 80, or 90 is going to go through the middle. And that's pretty easy to understand. It's, it's just a vertical alignment here from 0 all the way up to 100. And um, you want to make sure that your remediation or your lowest scores are always going to be at the bottom. Now, let's take a look at this example because this was a little bit different. Um, I had you choose a book. And, of course, a book isn't really worth points. So I just had to pick some random numbers. And it was just important that I picked numbers that were kind of spread apart and um, that were very different from one another. So I chose 70 points if you read Harry Potter, uh, 40 points for Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, and 20 points for Divergent. All right. Now, I know that when you took this, if you followed directions, you got one of three different scores. You got either a 20, a 40, or a 70. Those were the only three options for scores you could have gotten on that assessment. So when I look at my planning document, I made myself a little cheat sheet here that says, this is the score that they got that I want to send them down this path. The 40 point score is what I want to send them down this middle path. The 70 point score is what I want to send them down the top path. So the bottom number is zero. The top number canvas will fill this in, by the way, is actually 130 in this case. And so I need for um, this threshold to happen somewhere between 20 points and 40 points. So I'm going to pick 30. And it, again, doesn't matter. It could be 31. It could be 27. As long as it's between 20 and 40, we're good. Okay. And um, I want this threshold here to be between 40 and 70 points. So I think I picked 60 in the real thing. And again, could be anything. I just chose a number that was going to happen between 40 and 70. And so that way I know that if you read Divergent and you answered that question correct, you got a 20 on that quiz. And that means you were going to get sent down this pathway and you were going to get the, the Divergent discussion and quiz. Okay. And you know, this kind of thing can be a little bit um, more difficult to kind of wrap your brain around. So if you have any trouble with that, feel free to contact your campus DLC and we will certainly help you figure that out. Thanks. Have a great day.